Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be messing around with the brand new block, which is the power coupling, because there are a few features that I didn't quite show off just yet that I really want to show you guys that are possible with this new block. So first things first, I don't think I showed this last time uh, when I did the review of the early access of this new block, but if I just get a seat here... Yeah, like that. And go into the configuration. There are, uh, there's an input. And I forgot to actually check out the input. So let's check it out. So I've put an input in. Let's do a toggle. So if I press A now, what happens? That happens. <laughs> it literally just makes the, uh, the wire, the electrical beam invisible. So it's still a connection, but it just turns that on and off. So uh, that would be cool for like light shows and stuff if you wanted to be really creative in that aspect. But yeah, so that's what the input does. But today we're actually going to be messing around with the power coupling in a different way because I have spent some time building this nice little Chinook here. This is actually my first Chinook I've ever built in the game. I hope you guys are impressed. But yes, it's quite simple. Simple, just a simple helicopter to do the job and you might be thinking why a chinook well because we're going to be using the power couplings as ropes and lifting vehicles across the sky so let's land this chinook here actually it'll be quicker if i uh yeah <laughs> if i grab myself a power coupling we can essentially turn this into a rope and we can do all sorts of testing here so let's just do this many i guess and I want those little connection parts to be invisible. The only thing I want to see is the actual wire. So if I go into configuration, hide part one and hide part two, we actually get the, the wire. Let's go for a black wire. And actually brown? Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's more like a yellow than anything. Yeah, we'll go for a black wire. And then if we put some kind of weight on the other side, let's just go for the 50 kg. Like that. We should ha Whoa. Whoa. That is bizarre. Look at that. It's like it's like perfectly balanced. Oh, never mind. We're we're falling. <laughs> but you can see how it's bending, right? You can see how the coupling is actually bending. So if I go for a little flight here. And I like tilt the helicopter, the Chinook. It it has the free movement. And it actually has a strength setting. So if I turn that down completely down it should be completely loose here i go going into the configuration again yeah here we go stiffness if i turn the stiffness down this should just act like a rope yes look at that wow we now have working rope in trail makers you imagine all the things you could build with this this is insane look at that look how wobbly it is the gravity and the physics are pulling it around whilst I'm trying to fly this. I just love how satisfying that is. Okay, well, let's do some proper testing. Now that we have um, the actual basis of the idea down, I want to grab a vehicle to carry with the Chinook. All right, let's go to the workshop. And uh, I just want like a, a tank. We just want a standard tank here. Yeah, so I'm in the tags. Where is... The, is there not a tank option? No, there's not. There's just combat. Okay. All right, that's fine. Ooh. The TVR120 by Duma2122. Small tank with radio. Okay, so it's a, it's a mini tank. We'll start off small. I don't know how much weight my helicopter can carry. Let's get ourselves a few attachments going. So I'm thinking, let's have some detachable blocks on top. Like so. Yeah, there we go. That's good. And we're going to use detachable blocks, guys, because we can actually detach the tank once we've uh, transported the tank to a different location via helicopter. All right. Let's get a few wires going and... Hide... Actually, stiffness zero. There we go. The question is, how much complexity do these use? All right. So they use about five complexity each. That's not too bad. That's like no different to like a hinge. All right, helicopter. There we go. It all fits in the complexity, which is good. And uh, we want to stick it about kind of in the center. Yeah, there we go. That's good. And I think the last thing I need to do is obviously disable all of the connections from this seat. Right, here we go. 
The Chinook is connected to the tank with the power couplings. The detachable blocks are ready. And yeah, I'm actually going to leave them blue this time because they look very nice, actually, blue. The couplings. All right, let's spawn it in. Oh, I spawned in the tank. Okay, I want to <laughs> I want to get in the Chinook. All right, tank, we're going. <laughs> All right, okay, tank's a little heavy. But this is kind of working. Oh, yeah, it's definitely very heavy. I need some more lift. Can I even get, like, a little bit off the ground here? Please. Oh, oh. I'm definitely dragging it. We can drag it a lot. Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Okay, we do need more lift, which is an easy fix. All right. The blades have been doubled up. We should have twice the lift power. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice. Would you look at that? We're actually transporting this tank. We're going to the front lines. Let's go. I should probably be on a different map for this. Yeah, I want to change map. But before I do, let's test if we can drop the tank. Obviously, we can. But here we go. I was in the... T I was in the tank seat. <laughs> that was unexpected, but uh, I didn't know I was in the tank seat. I thought I was in the helicopter seat. Okay, well, we're here on Airborne because I wanted to use the helicopter in a more dangerous environment. And on this map, we actually have the AI, the pirates. Okay, well, it's been decided. We're going to deliver this tank to the Chirpos over at Maze Valley. Let's go. <laughs> I love how fast I take off. Okay, we have no self-defenses, though. So, uh, let's try and avoid these guys. But, you know, not be too far away from them, because I do want some action here. Here we go, we're getting shot. Is it possible to shoot the uh, actual couplings? Do they take damage? I think so. They're like any other block, right? They should do. Oh, no, we're going into uh, pirate airspace. <laughs> oh, God. We got to deliver this package to the Chirpos. Oh, that's the flat cannon. You know what? We're holding up fine. I actually want to see how much damage we can take. Oh, no. Whoa, there we go. There's a wire gone. There is a wire loose. The back wire has been severed. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> we're down to two wires. Uh Oh, I've lost my stabilizers. This isn't good. This isn't good. Ah, oh, if only I had a second player on. If I had a friend to shoot in the tank, that would be awesome right now. Oh, come on. We're so close. We're so close to the runway. That's all we'd have to do is deliver it there. We haven't delivered it in one piece. Oh, no. Oh, it's so unstable. It's like a pendulum effect going on right now. It's swinging me around. <laughs> No, I accidentally detached. No. Wait, I was in the tank the whole time. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. Here's the tank. We're here. We've made it. It's kind of nearly. No, we need to be up there. We need to finish this mission like properly. I think I'm going to let myself off with a couple defensive uh, parts here. So let's get some weapons. And we're just going to stick on some smart cannons on the bottom side here. Just quite simply, just slamming on some weapons. There we go. All right, here we go. I just realized I'm in the wrong seat again. Can I... Oh, no! No, we cannot use our repair tool to fly in this game mode. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> All right, this time for sure. Get in the right seat. Cool, we're in there. Thank God. All right. Here we go. I'm already getting a lock onto this enemy. Nice. He's dead. Oh, it's so much better when you can shoot back. Yep, you're gone. Yep, later. Okay, we're losing the direction. It's this way. Actually, I mean, we could take a shortcut through the desert. Oh, I don't have an angle on that guy. We just have to move. Let's just go. Okay, we're in range of these guys now. So 
This isn't looking good. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. It's the flat cannons I really need to be careful of. Like this one. This one right here. Oh, oh, oh. This is actually a lot of fun delivering this tank here. Oh, we're taking a lot of heavy firepower. Oh, I'm being pushed around. We need to stay low. We need to stay in the canyons. Shoot these balloons. Oh my, that also made me realize that I could make my own hot air balloon with these couplings too. There's so many things you can create. Fire! Fire! Our couplings are intact, but I'm taking a lot of fire. We're good. We're good. This is fine. Yes, this is, we're, we're okay, guys. We're okay. All right, let's deliver the tag. Nice and easy now. It sustained a little bit of damage, but, you know, that's a functional tank right there. Yeah, there we go. Tank has been delivered. Now we just got to get home. And I have noodles now underneath me. <laughs> I could probably add more detachable blocks to actually get rid of the couplings. It's like I got like little tentacles. Oh, oh, it's stuck in my blades. What's going on? No, <laughs> I've somehow got the couplings tangled in the helicopter. Nice. Well, there you have it, guys. I set out to see if I could use the couplings as rope today. And clearly you can. Just by lowering the stiffness and uh, hiding a few parts, you can make it look really cool. And it actually functions amazingly. Like this is genuinely just rope. A very good addition to the game, I think. And this is just like one thing you can do with the couplings. There's so many other things you could do, I can imagine. Oh, there we go. Perfect tank delivery right there. Uh, the helicopter is spinning out of control. That's actually quite cool. <laughs> well, I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration on what you could do when the uh, power couplings update actually comes out. 1.7.4. I still don't have a date yet, guys. Um, I probably need to check if there is one. But if there is, I'm sure the update will come out soon for you guys but having fun on early access is awesome and i'm glad i can make these videos for you and if you have any other ideas what i can use these couplings for for any future videos definitely leave them down below and whilst you're at it why not consider subscribing it's free but anyway that's enough from me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye